What is up, YouTube? Clickwood here back again with another Madden 15 Ultimate Team video. And today, guys, what you're going to be watching is some pack openings. We're going to be opening up some of these Super Bowl packs. We're actually going to do the full bundle today. So you guys are going to get to see what's inside of that. Obviously, some other people have done that, but you're going to at least see what I get in my packs. I've had some good ones. I've had some bad ones throughout these promotions. Obviously, the best thing that I've had was the Cornucopia pack where I got that Barry Sanders. I've gotten some decent stuff, though. My flashback uh, from the uh, from the Ultimate Freeze was Wes Welker. I mean, that's not the greatest, but it's pretty decent still. Um, so I'm happy to get that. Now, what we have right now is the Super Bowl packs, and uh, yeah, so these things are actually pretty damn good from the looks of it anyway. I uh, just want to show you guys what is in them if you're not aware, and what you can actually get in these is you can actually pull Legends, and you can also pull uh, just some standard gold players as well from the Super Bowl. Obviously, you can still pull the standard players, um, but you also can actually get a Super Bowl item, it says, and uh, three badges as well, and a Super Bowl coin-up collectible. So, there's definitely some coins to be made here in these packs, and uh, so far I've actually done the two solo challenges, um, the two solo challenges that I did for the coin ups. I'm trying to remember exactly what I got. Oh yeah, I got the um, the if the if a if a quarterback is the MVP of the Super Bowl, I get I forget how many coins it is like. 5k or something like that nothing spectacular um and then if there is a 50 yard or more field goal then i also get I, I don't even remember it's it's a good chunk though it's actually a pretty decent chunk if that happens so i'm gonna be hoping for those field goals you know what i mean <laughs> in the super bowl so um let me know guys what you get in your coin ups as well i'm interested in seeing what all of them are but again what we are going to be opening up today is the seven pro bowl or se super bowl uh pack bundle and uh, this is going to also contain a Road to the Playoffs Elite player. So I am excited about that. And uh, without further ado, guys, let's hop in here. We've got 12 hours, 54 minutes as that clicks through. So, um, yeah, there's not a whole lot of time left. If you guys do want to see me open up any more of these packs, let me know. I might do it with some coins. Uh, but, again, I've only got, what, 13 hours roughly left. So let me know in the comment section soon. I will be posting this the night of. Uh, leave some likes on this video as well if you guys want to see that. So with that being said, let's hop into this. We've got the 4,200 points. I actually have like 7,500 or something like that. So we've got that. Let's start this thing off quick. Let's get some decent stuff, guys. Wish me some good luck here. Here we go. Ron Rivera is our first item. Soldier Field. A bronze badge, of course. Uh, Lorenzo Alexander. Another bronze badge. And by the way, guys, uh, I actually opened up, um, I actually got another elite badge, and I didn't record it, of course, but uh, I actually got it just by, like, finishing the coaches collection again. So, uh, just, like, the standard uh, one that you can do and as we get all bronzes. So, all right, here we go. We got a 75,000 coin uh, potential here if there is a fumble return for a touchdown. Um, that's not very likely, obviously, but Steeler, or the uh, Seahawks D is pretty good. And actually, honestly, the Patriots D isn't that bad either. So uh, we get the huge upset the uh, from the New York, New York Giants over the New England Patriots. I believe that was um, from 2007. That's when that Super Bowl was, if I remember correctly. Darren Sproles and a Cardinals defense. So nothing spectacular here in this pack. Really not much of any value. I mean, unless, of course, these things... Uh, end up going for a lot if, if I get this 75,000 coins that'd be pretty cool but that one seems pretty unlikely so let's hop into the next pack Chris Culliver Patriots home jersey silver badge yeah at least it's not a bronze bronze badge though uh, Kurt Warner to Isaac Bruce collectible Panthers defense Joel Batonio all right two 100 yard receivers now this one I believe is extremely unlikely based on the teams that are playing uh, we could see a Gronkowski get to a 100, and it's possible that, like, Julian Edelman could, but unlikely that both of them will. And I just don't see any Seahawks players getting to 100 yards. I mean, it, it, I guess it's possible if, like, Jermaine Curse or something beats them deep. It's possible that he gets to 100, but I'm, I'm not banking on it. So that one's not very good, I don't personally think. But thankfully, I'm going to be getting a decent chunk of these things. I'm going to get seven of those coin-ups, so I'm hoping that one of them hits. Michael Floyd, Aaron Donald, and if you guys haven't seen uh, the Aaron Donald cards, there's actually some pretty beastly Aaron Donald cards. I think it's the, um, oh gosh, the Team of the Year, I believe, uh, Aaron Donald, if I remember correctly. It's just, it's an absolute monster with speed at the defensive tackle position. If you're playing a running quarterback, put that thing in a QB spy, you will do very well for yourself. All right, so we get a 300-yard passer. This one's only worth 10,000 coins. 
I think that's a decent possibility because I think Brady might be able to get there at 300 yards, but chances are that he's not going to, and Russell Wilson rushed the throne for 300 yards, pretty unlikely. Runs and uh, Santonio Holmes catch. I remember seeing that. That was a ridiculous catch in the Super Bowl. All right, so then we get a... Uh, okay, so we get a Drew Brees collectible. I don't know what that's going for. Let me know in the comments section if you guys have any idea. Um, my guess is not very much because I don't think Drew Brees' cards go for very much. But silver badge, uh, Benny Logan, another silver badge. So we got a couple of silver badges in this one at least. Uh, not just all bronzes as usual. But so far, nothing great as far as pulls go. So... We're going to be banking, I think, on that final, um, what is this? Oh, will it be tied after 0-0? Zero to zero? I thought it was saying, like, uh, the game will end in a tie. I was about to just toss this thing immediately. <laughs> um, but, yeah, so I'm, I'm really hoping on that that topper that that thing is anything decent. Another silver badge. LeGarrette Blunt. Yes, a Football Outsiders Elite. That is a decent pull, at least. I'm going to imagine that that's not going for very much. I, I honestly have no idea at this point. But still, we at least get an elite. That is pretty decent. I want to take a look at this thing's stats. This is actually better than um, any of the other ones that I have as far as uh, overall because he's got that 98 truck. And he actually has 90 speed. That is insane, man. That is absolutely ridiculous. I can't believe that that thing has 90 speed. Um... Let's compare him real quickly against uh, LaShawn McCoy. Or I actually have a Jonathan Stewart. You guys will see what I'm going to be doing with that. But uh, this is my current starter, LaShawn McCoy. I'll, I, mean, I can almost tell you right now I'm going to be keeping LaShawn McCoy. But LeGarrette Plunt does actually have some decent advantages here, especially in that trucking attribute. His elusiveness is probably too low for me. I, I'm just more of a speed halfback kind of a guy. And that's why I also have this Denard Robinson to back up LaShawn McCoy. So I probably will be selling this, but we'll see how it, how it um, what it's worth and things like that. Okay, Byron Maxwell. Nice. We get an elite. I think that's actually going for a little bit of a chunk here. Uh, let me see here. Yeah, I think that's going for uh, 75,000 coins or so. I have the database up right now. So hopefully um, that thing's still going for a decent chunk. That is actually a pretty nice pull. Very happy about that to actually get a, a, a standard elite here for the road to the playoffs. Look at this thing's attributes too. Six foot one, 94 speed with 96 zone and 94 man and with a 94 press. That is pretty beastly. I have to say there is not a lot to dislike about this card. Um, yeah, really looking forward to uh, seeing what that one's going for if it's still going for that same amount. Super Bowl blackout collectible. I remember that as well. That's pretty funny. And uh, bronze badge with Pete Carroll. So, uh, very nice pack here. Two elites in one pack. We get Byron Maxwell and LeGarrette Blunt in the same pack, along with a coin up that could potentially happen. So, that is definitely the best pack that we have had. That certainly pays for at least a pack or two uh, with that one. So, I'm happy about that. Bronze badge. Running back is it. So, if any running back is the MVP, I'm going to guess that it would pretty much have to be Marshawn Lynch. Could be LeGarrette Blunt based off the game he had last week, but very unlikely with that or with that uh, Seahawks D. Josh Norman uh, and a Super Bowl collectible. That is just the standard trophy. I have no idea what these things are going for. I'm going to guess not very much, but um, yeah, it's nice to uh, at least be getting some collectibles that are at least worth something. So not much as far as players go here and a low coin up, but a fairly likely one, I will say. If the Seahawks win, there's a good chance that Marshawn Lynch is the MVP. So we've, we've got uh, the fridge here for the collectible. Reggie Bush, Sammy Hill, Falcons, Bronze Badge, Gus Bradley. All right, so... Uh, the first score, if it's a touchdown, I get 5,000 coins. I think that there's a good chance of that, although I'm going to be hoping for that long field goal, I'll tell you that much. Uh, but it would be nice if it was a, a touchdown and then the long field goal by the other team. Let's see here. James Devlin. Okay, so we get another uh, decent card here. This is only a uh, gold, but still um, a de definitely nice to see that we actually pulled a uh, Super Bowl card. So that's okay in my book. A gold badge. So... Definitely the best badge that we've gotten so far. Still no elite badge as far as all these go. But um, still pretty decent. Not too bad overall. And we've still got, I think, yeah, we've got, this is our final one. So here we go. If this game goes into overtime, which I think there is a decent possibility that happens, 75,000 coins for us. So that is something I'm definitely going to be hoping for. And Justin Tuck, another Super Bowl. I think that's the same collectible that I had before. So that sucks. Ryan Pickett. Bronze badge, bronze badge, certificate of authenticity, eh, 
Maybe we'll be, I think I've got two of those right now, so I'm, I, I still need to collect a couple more of them in order to actually be able to uh, to do the, the set and get the card. And then we get the surprise onside kick collectible, Andy Reid. And then uh, Broncos Field and a bronze badge. So nothing great out of uh, this pack, but this one is, I think, a decent possibility. Um, for 75,000 coins, I like my chances with that. So overall, not great as far as our collectibles go, but, you know... Um, you know, what it, whatever. I still got a couple of decent cards there with that Byron Maxwell and that Laguerre Blunt, so I'm happy with that. Now, let us open up this topper. This is the thing that is either going to make or break us here, I'm pretty sure. So, we're hoping for the John Elway, uh, possibly like a James Harrison would be great, Tracy Porter. Any of the legends, frankly, are pretty decent. Uh, Franco Harris, I think, is the least valuable of the group, if I remember correctly. So, uh, let's hope for one of the legends, but even if we don't get one, I mean, these these things are going for at least 50,000 coins, regardless of who you get. So, wish me luck, and we get Brandon Marshall. Oh, I thought it was a Super Bowl. I thought it was a guaranteed Super Bowl player. I, I apologize. Um, but, all right, so we get Brandon Marshall. This is actually a pretty beastly card, though, to be honest with you. Um, if I remember correctly, this is, like, one of the best run blockers in the game as far as the wide receivers go. So, yeah, 72 for a run block. And that is definitely something I can make use of. He's a big physical receiver. He has decent speed at a 91, but um, what I'm really excited about is that run blocking potential because you guys know I like to run the football a lot. And I also like the fact that he can do more than just run or run block. He can catch as well. So, you know, with that 97 catch in traffic, I do throw a lot into traffic, unfortunately. I'm not the best at, at finding plays that get my receivers wide open. So my guys do end up having to make a lot of tough catches. So I am happy to get the Brandon Marshall. Again, not really sure what he's going for right now. I, I can't imagine that it's a lot anymore given the fact that there are so many good receivers in the game. But I do know that Brandon Marshall is a beastly card. So I'm very, very happy about that. If you guys have any ideas uh, as far as if you want me to do another one of these uh, Super Bowl packs, please let me know in the comments section below. I would appreciate it. We've still got a couple different things that we can open up here i could potentially do another bundle that is very unlikely to happen i'll tell you that much but if you guys are interested i could open up a couple more of these packs I've got about 600,000 coins and i've also got some points so i could do it like that or otherwise um i am also going to be uh opening up here guys i do have this large quick sell still sitting here i'm nervous to open it though i, I don't want to open it I, I actually i really do but i'm nervous to open it and then i've got a stupid three badge pack so maybe we'll do those two things together in another video maybe tomorrow so be on the lookout for that guys hope you enjoyed the video if you did please be sure to hit the like button subscribe to the channel if you are new thank you guys so much for tuning in i, I really do appreciate it and i will talk to you guys again soon